guys so I wanted to come to you guys with my unboxing of my Vice palette from Urban Decay this is my very first thing purchasing from Urban Decay and it's actually the most expensive palette that I've ever bought I just received my package today and it came in a UPS um, box and um, I ordered it on the release date which was um, Saturday um, 9-12 I'm so excited like I'm so freaking excited oh so, this is how the packaging was it kind of came up a little dent but it's okay as long as the shadows are not broken um, this is what the back of it looks like all of the shades one two three four one two three four five so it's 20 shades and it comes with this little um, free sample of an Urban Decay Velvet Glide on Eye Pencil. So it comes in like this cute little case. Edge. Okay. Unzipping it. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. It looks like this. I thought it would have a lot more green in it. That's what the edge looks like. It's a very, very thick palette. It has vice on the back. Ooh, so pretty. Oh, look at these shades. Like, if can you guys see the? Like, oh my god. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the swatches. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I'm enjoying it. So the first color I'm gonna show you guys is called Bones, and Bones is just like, oh my gosh, it's so freaking pretty. It's like. A pearly it's like a pearly type pink um, it has a slight undertone of like a pink anyway the next color is called frame color that this color is called framed and it's like a very nice pink flesh tone um, color um, it's very good for like a transition color the next shade is called discreet and it's kind of like it has an undertone of a purple it kind of makes me think about bones a little bit but bones is a little pinkish and discreet is a little bit purple um it's a very 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 light purple um subtle hints of purple the next color i'm going to show you guys is called better and it's kind of like a brick red color um i'm really glad that i got this palette because um, in my old palette, one of my very first palettes, I had like this very, very beautiful brick color, but it had shimmers in it, and it would be like the perfect transition shade if only it didn't have shimmers in it. And this one is a matte, so it, it, it makes me super, super happy, you know, just in case if you are a neutrals type of girl and, you know, you don't want to wear too much drama on your eyes, but you want to have a little definition in your crease. The next color I'm going to show you guys is called Grip. And it's kind of it kind of shows up a little taupey and a little ashy on me, but it can it is workable. It is very buildable. Um it's a shimmer as well. Um well, it's a shimmer and it kind of just comes off a little taupe on my skin. On lighter skin tones, it would it would tr it would pay off a lot better, but on deeper skin tones, if you just want a little wash of um some taupe in your crease, I think it would be a great a great great um tr transition color it's one of one of my favorites i freaking love it it is called fastball and fastball is like a pinkish salmon type color it's very very beautiful very warm very great for the springtime um you can use it you can use it pretty much anywhere i really i really love this color i love it called grasshopper and oh my god oh my this color right here. This color right here though. This color right here. Oh my goodness. I already got a makeup look with this color. Like I already came up with something in my head for this eyeshadow color. It's freaking beautiful. It's kind of like if you've ever seen the new um, movie called Oz with James Franco in it and Mila Kunis. And you saw emeralds everywhere. This is the perfect freaking color. This is this is that called flame and 
just looking at the color just looking at the freaking color like oh my gosh just looking at this freaking color it has like reflex of orange and yellows and golds and reds it is so beautiful it turns a different color every time you turn so it has like that it got that iridescent type feel about it you know what i'm saying this color is just a basic black um it's called deadbeat these colors these these names are freaking funny deadbeat it's called deadbeat and it's just a black um it has tiny reflexive shimmer in it but not too much it's very 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 beautiful color nothing too dramatic about a black shell the next color i'm going to show you guys is called 1985 and I already have a look. I already like before, before I, um, I saw that this palette was coming out and everything. I already created a look in my head for this palette, and um, it's gonna be coming up soon. And dead, oh, not not dead beat, but um, 1985 is gonna be one of the colors that I'm gonna use, and it's just such a pretty like fuchsia fuchsia type purple. It has like a satin feel to it, um, a satin look to it as well. The next color is called C Note. And I really like this color too. It has like, it's kind of like um, a minty type. It's kind of like a minty type teal. Um, that's the best way I know how to even describe it. Um, in the palette, it kind of looks like a mermaid type color too. Kind of. You know, like that shade that everyone is wearing and it looks like um, mermaid threw up all over their face. So the next color is called Low and oh my goodness. This color is so freaking beautiful. It's like a taupey type. It's like a taupey type um, gray. It has a little bit of purple in it. It has a little bit of silver in it. It's like mixed well it makes it's mixed very very well and it has like sparkles in it like it's just so freaking beautiful like i can't even describe how beautiful the freaking color is the next color is called beat down and this is one of the colors that i'm going to be creating with the look and it's kind of like a iridescent type purple um it has um some tints of blue in it some tints of purple in it and it's just very very shimmery and very pretty not too shimmery kind of like a satiny type finish too underhand and this is one of the colors i'm going to be using as well as well <laughs> the perfect way to even describe this color is like it's like Red and silver mixed together. Red, silver, and purple mixed together. So freaking beautiful. Um, I can't even do. I can't even tell you what what color it looks like to me because I've never really even had a color like this, like ever. So the next color um, is called Arctic, and I freaking love this color. Like oh my freaking gosh, it literally looks like the ocean like spilled on my hand or something, something like that. Crowbar and. I have had a color like this. I have a color like this in my Shawnee's Cosmetics palette. And this color is very beautiful. You know, I've used it on the makeup look before. It's kind of like a, a goldish brownish green. A goldish brownish green with shimmers of gold in it. It's, it's literally that. It looks like... It just looks... It kind of makes me think of a lizard. I have no idea why. It makes me think about... Um, a beautifully scaled lizard pandemonium and oh my gosh like this color like this color like this color like oh my goodness if you guys watch makeup Shayla um, on snapchat if you guys aren't if you guys don't know who makeup Shayla is you guys need to go ahead and follow her you need to add her on snapchat and this color seriously makes me think about her living room like that's just the that's just the perfect example like I can even give right now Harlot and this is kind of like a shimmery periwinkle type purple um that's the only way I can even describe the color is like a periwinkle type purple and it's very very beautiful it's very soft um you know i think it would go really really good for um lighter skin tones like like more someone that's on like more of the fair side um 
with this color I would literally I would kind of have to work with this because since I am more of a tan skin um, this color it does look beautiful but I think it would look very very even more beautiful on a paler skin type person the next color is called robbery and this color is like a taupey type color as well um they have very they have some very cool neutral um type shades in this palette um and this is one of them this is like a um it's basically like a shimmery taupe i have a color like this um in my shawnee's cosmetics palette it's very beautiful i like it color delete now um this color is like chocolate it's just like chocolate it looks just like chocolate it's a it's a matte brown color it's very rich very very thick you know highly pigmented and formulated I freaking love it like I think that no matter what if you have a black and if you have a brown and if you have a brick red color in any palette that you put that any palette that Urban Decay puts out or that anybody else puts out you cannot go wrong with those three shades right there you just can't and to think that I don't even have to have a primer to put these on like oh my gosh like you the, you the real MVP I don't know why I was sleeping on Urban Decay maybe because y'all was too expensive but you know I decided to treat myself and this color is just this palette is just but um, I'm so freaking happy that Urban Decay came out with this palette. Um, I've never had any of the Vice palettes. I've never owned anything from Urban Decay. So this is one of the major purchases that I that I did this year. So if you're on the fence of buying it, I hope that my little swatch video was helpful for you guys. Love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe. And I love you all. Did I say that already? <laughs>